Hello, in this Bootstrap 4 video we're going to show you radio buttons. Unlike a conventional button, even though we have different styles and different types, they're all just a single click and perform a certain action button. You click it, it does something. It's as simple as that. Whereas a radio button, you can select it so it's active and it's usually within a group of other radio buttons so you can select one or the other. So if you select one, you can't deselect it. So you, one is usually selected by default and if you select another one, the previous one gets deselected, it's not active anymore and the new one is selected. You may have seen these when you're on some sort of survey and it's just asking you your sort of age range and you have to let's say select one of them maybe the one that's selected by default is you choose not to say and then there's other categories as well like 18 to 25 20 25 to 30 that sort of stuff it's really easy to code bootstrap does an amazing job of handling all of this stuff for you first of all let's just create some new lines so you want to create a div and the div is going to have a class of btn dash group which is button group because it's going to be a group of buttons i'm going to put data dash toggle oopsie daisy equals button because well you're toggling between buttons that's what they are they're, they're radio buttons now we're going to have a label And the label is going to have a class of btn, btn dash primary, and we're going to set it to active, which just means this particular radio button is selected by default. I'm going to put input type equals radio. Then you just put a name. For the name, just put options. And uh, you can put an ID. I'm just going to put option one, but the ID is more used in something like JavaScript or jQuery or some sort of server side language like PHP, so you can detect which one has been selected and then perform a certain piece of code accordingly. But that's more specific to your website. It's going to put autocomplete equals off, and then simply you need to also put an empty attribute of checked which just goes hand in hand with the active class so it just states that this radio button is selected by default and I'm just going to use that example that I used before so I'm going to say choose not to say this is going to say it's going to be age and by default it's going to be choose not to say is selected and to save time I'm just going to copy and paste this it's going to get rid of the active from here because only one can be active at any given time let's increment this to option two get rid of the checked attribute because again only one can be active at any given time for this i'm going to put less than eight now i'm going to put less than 18 copy and paste this a couple more times and Change the ID so it's unique. Change this to 18 to 40. Slightly different from what I said, but it's all good. 40 to 120. So we got a little wide range here. I doubt you'll ever come across a survey with a question like this and answers like this. So let's go to our browser refresh if we scroll down we have our four radio buttons and they're within a radio group I mean within a button group and the first radio button is selected if I click it it doesn't deselect itself that's the thing with radio buttons one has to always be selected and you can't deselect it to essentially deselect it you need to select another one so I'm 23 so if I were to click this 18 to 40 it's now 18 to 40 and as you can see this is no longer active or I'm 55 and I want to click 40 to 100 and 
20 you can click less than 18 as well so that's radio buttons in bootstrap also you might be thinking that these don't really look like radio buttons that you've seen before because they're usually like little circles and they have like a little black black dot in there to signify that it's been selected and yeah they look different but they perform the same if you want them to look like that just remove some of these classes like the button styling classes and apply some CSS to make it look the way you want it to also you may have noticed we use BTN and BTN primary and this is also used in some of the other buttons that we have looked at you can also easily mix and match it for something like BTN dash danger dash outline we actually recommend that check that out just try using these different button types in your radio buttons if you have any questions feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php there'll be a link in the description to that so you don't need to remember it there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video please rate comment and subscribe as it does really help keep the content free plus it also helps us create more great videos like this one on a regular basis and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day